College of Charleston. We're interested in physiological support of underwater locomotion uh, in blue crabs and lobsters. We're also interested in physiological support of an immune response to bacterial infection. The experiments here um, have just been with the American lobsters, setting them up on the treadmill to measure um, blood pressure across the gill circulation and pressure in the gill chambers, and then also to measure ventilation rate while they're resting and then while they're walking on the treadmill. What we do is to put them on the treadmill and we let them rest, come to a resting state, and then we walk them on the treadmill. And what's good about that is that we're working them metabolically at a sort of a known rate. So it's not like chasing them around the tank. It's kind of co-evolved with the shrimp on the treadmill, the crab on the treadmill, and uh, Darwin and I have done work for, for years and years. And uh, this has been fun because we've been able to really collaborate. Just coming here and having access to seawater and um, the space here is so nice to work in. Lou has always been very helpful and supportive. And so I can come down here and get a lot of work done in a period of two weeks or so. Getting to come down to Charleston to do this is really cool. Um, well, especially since there's so many people down here that are also doing physiology work with lobsters and, and blue crabs. It's cool to come down here and feel like you're collaborating with other scientists. No one has really done this and especially the work that we've done with, uh, with challenging the crabs and shrimp and lobsters with uh, bacteria looking at their resistance to disease. No one has ever done that. So virtually everything we, we do is a, a new discovery.